Hi guys, today I'm going to be making a garden hose guide. And you know, I've seen these in stores before, and they're not spendy, but I just thought it'd be a fun project to make one. Carl Jacobson made one last Monday, and I saw it, and I thought that was about one of the coolest wood turning projects I've seen in a while. So, today I'm going to be doing this. I got my new lathe all set up, and I don't have everything all put together. I still need to get an adapter for my chuck to fit here. So, for now, I'm just going to be using an old faceplate. But, um,. Let's go ahead and get started. Have my roughing gouge. This is something really nice about this lathe is this new banjo tool rest setup. My old one I used to have to get a wrench underneath and to loosen and tighten it. But this is nice just to be able to go at it like this. pretty roughed into shape. Um, there's still flat spots here and there so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the speed up. I'm at about 500 RPMs. I want to go to uh, about 700. I'm just going to go ahead and start turning down my design here. And I'm going to switch over to a little bit smaller of a roughing gouge. Okay, I'm just gonna start telling I find a midpoint on this I'm gonna start turning a big big ball on the end. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my five inch inch bowl gouge for this, see how this turns out. bigger roughing gouge I'm just gonna go ahead and start bringing this whole bottom part down to be the stake and then I'm just gonna take a parting tool and flatten off the one the one face of it here
we're gonna, gonna bring that down more. Okay, I just realized that before I start getting too thin down here at the point, I realized that that'll be how I'm going to part this off. So before I do all that, I just want to sand this off. I'm going to be starting with some 80. Okay, I just went ahead and sanded through with 80, 150, 240, and then I just went to this little scuff pad here and just gave it a light little scuff. Now, I have my spindle gouge. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on working at a point here until it uh, parts off. Okay, um, here it is. I just took it off the lathe. There's a little point at the bottom. What I'm gonna do is I have some spray lacquer. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this 